I don't think that, okay, good. Ugh, for the love of God, let's get back over here. It's night now. <laughs> was it night before? I don't think it was night when we first came here. It was like setting suns and such. Because they say it changes when the sun goes down over the river and out of town. All right, yeah, and I got some more Peacemaker ammo. Yeah, look at that. That is freaking, I love the Peacemaker sometimes. Like I said, very inaccurate, not a fan. So <laughs> let's, uh, kill these assholes please get them in one shot and give me some ammo while we're at it that guy fell he died it looked like the electricity was trying to trying to help him they were singing steam powered giraffe softly into his ear as he fell to his death he was just like no and then i don't know it was just something about turpentine erasement hole and, and the such it just brought him to tears I'm just rambling now. I don't even make sense to myself. I'm sorry. I was just concocting sentences with words. They weren't even cohesive and it wasn't even English. Okay, so I think at this point now, we can head off to the dig. Kind of, not exactly spoilers, but just, it's just, I know, I, I know that's where we're going. Next because I played this game before, you guys. Do you believe me when I say I played the game? I bet somebody's like, you know, you fucking don't know shit about this game. You've already missed like 12 precursor orbs in this. Wait. Uh, wait, what? Wait, who was this? <laughs> well, what was, what was the reason for your call? Goddamn telemarketers? Um, so yeah, that was Ashlyn, clearly, and uh, with her black security pass, which allows us to get through any door, uh, we're gonna go head off to the dig once again, because there's a door that I didn't make much note of, and that's because we couldn't enter it without the right quote-unquote clearance level. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to offend anyone. I don't know how that would offend anyone considering I'm clearly not being serious. I don't know. And nobody who gets un whoops, I accidentally skipped the uh, transition scene there. Uh, I don't know who would get offended at that and watch my video. I mean, I wouldn't consider myself the most offensive person, but I'm pretty sure anyone who watches for five minutes knows I'm not entirely serious when I'm joking. I mean, that's the point of joking is not being serious. Right? I mean, am I just stupid and assuming that? Black clearance. clearance. Alright, you got it, lady. Yes, I will play the African drums for you, my friend, my darling. Okay, oh, we don't want to go here yet because there's actually a precursor all of our right over here. There are five in this area, I do believe. God, why do I sound like fucking what's his face from the Star Wars movie? I don't even know. Like, oh, quiet, not my dollar herself. Oh, yeah, it was the Japanese fucking stereotype. I got, I really want to watch the. Red letter review movies <laughs> again. I don't know. Me and my brother were doing that thing. Okay, um, in this one episode of Pushmo, I was talking about my brother and I. We were doing some weird ass accents and stuff. We were talking like John, or not John, we were talking about like Ringo Starr and Morgan Freeman. And we would also do the stupid uh, red letter media guy. I, f I forgot his name. It's been so long since I've seen one of his reviews, but. Um, we, we would be talking like him, and I don't think I'd be able to even do it now. I don't think I can do any impressions while recording myself, because I just, I feel like I'd sense us too much. We're just like, uh, I can't even do it now. We, we do it so nonchalantly when we're by ourselves and just talking casually, but I can't do it on camera for shit. So maybe one of these days when we're recording or something, I'll just, I'll just randomly get into it, and then I'll just forget I'm recording, because clearly... You are you are in a slightly different mindset when recording. I'm not actually like this when I'm with people. Just so you guys know, I try not to have very many breaks in commentary because then that just feels weird, and I feel like that might turn off some people. Here we've got a new kind of enemy. We've got some roly poly ass fucking robots here. It's like goddamn, what is this Transformers? It's like, oh God, these guys are so annoying too because they take so much to kill. They take like four shots, and they're just so irritating. That guy got shot in the cutscene. Well, as it started, there he is. That was a cutscene. He was like, "Oh, dude, I th oh, why would that was a safe seas, man? Safe seas? I don't know." Okay, this next precursor orb I think is right over here, right after we get this thing. Um, no, it's this one right after this one. There we go. So yes, of course, with the spinny levers, the most efficient way of traveling over toxic acid is, of course, by spin kicking the shit out of stuff. Okay, and there's a precursor orb right there. There's number two, and then there's. How many? No, that was number. That was number two. Uh, maybe there's only four in this level. No, never mind. There are. I, I remember where they are. <laughs> I'm just being a silly dingbat, you guys. Okay, so now we've got the stupid blades of death. Is there no music playing here? Is there seriously no music playing in this area? Why wouldn't they put any music in this? You know, maybe it just might be my game because I don't know. Maybe 
I'm half tempted to put something over this because that would be very boring to listen to. Here's number three per like hearing me collect shit and talk about, you know, n making accents and then not actually delivering on those accents, but not making, not talking about it. Wow, I hit both of them with a the single bullet, even though I shot effectively ten times. Um, okay, so let's go continue on over here, shall we? I don't know. Maybe I might put something like that. Um, okay, so over here, two more precursor orbs will be in this area. I'm sorry. This sounds boring. All we're doing is platforming in a Jack and Daxter game, ladies and gentlemen. Naughty Dog game, I might add. Did I, I think I already started talking briefly about The Last of Us, but I really want to do LP of that game. That'd be really fun. Because The Last of Us is a freaking awesome game. And I haven't played it yet, but I plan on it. I'm gonna buy the first PS3 game I'll buy in like years since I bought like the Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition in like 2012. Like last year, I think that was literally the last game I bought. Except for like, you know, uh, PSN demos. Whoa! Or I mean PSN games. I don't download demos just, just for the record. Demos are just fucking stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> demos are just. They're just silly! I mean, come on. I don't know, I mean, Kem Owen, uh, and I must have shot that second one over there from below somehow. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head over here, and now uh, continue on up here again, because Last of Us would be freaking awesome, and it's also a Naughty Dog game, so that might be a good way to follow this up. Except, I don't know, a lot of people apparently seem to be, like, hell-bent against, like, LPing games, like, the day they come out or the day after they come out, which, you know, I can sympathize with those people, but to completely outcast them and say, oh, the three-month rule, blah, 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 that's... I think that's just stupid because, I don't know, what I don't like about people who upload videos that early of a game that just came out that soon is the fact that they're more or less incompetent at them, and typically I don't really care if a person's good at a video game or not when watching their, uh, their commentary of the game, but um, if they're just gonna do it just for the views and shit, then that's when I think it's kind of fucked up is when they're just like, oh, I'm not gonna blah 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 blah. It's just, it's, it, that's the point where it gets annoying, but, you know, personally, I'm not against, you know, playing games when they first come out, God damn it, and then uploading videos, because, you know, a lot of the people I follow do that. Uh, I would say probably mostly SSOH. He, he's been on his hiatus for a while, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm glad, I'm really glad he took one, because, you know, doing anything for that long a period of time is unruly to the mind and soul, and so I give him props for that, even though he'll never see this, and never know, whatever. Uh, so, we're gonna go take these assholes out since, uh, this thing loves aiming in the improper direction, please. Okay, we killed two of them. He's sniping me! He's sniping me! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man, that's not cool. Why would you do that? The, the lack of music in this area is, it's, it's very demeaning to my soul. Okay, there's gonna be more over here, so I'm gonna hope to God he doesn't shoot- Ah, oh, come on, Peacemaker, you gotta, you gotta work- No, God! Okay, that is, hmm. That's unreal, you guys. Fucking ugh. Okay, die please, you pieces of dong shit. Get out of here, you don't belong here. I don't know, that was terrible. That was, an, uh, that was me making fun of somebody impersonating an Englishman, I must say. Um, okay, so go kill these assholes. You know, apparently this is actually a pretty good gun for sniping bitches with. Because bitches like to be sniped with the Vulcan Fury, if you know what I'm saying. Ugh, great. Yeah, maybe the Peacemaker isn't very good at long range. I've already commented on his lack of accuracy, as well as the fact that, you know, I'm not a big fan of it. But I still like it! Not a fan, but I like it. Uh, there we go. Busting through the philosophy. That's a gun. Uh, that was like a weird hybrid of something something or other. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Listen, maybe, maybe I should have waited to do this. Maybe I can still go back at this point. I've got another save file. Saved up, revved to go, revved to go. God damn it! Yeah, I'm definitely in in need of a nap. It's it's four something right now. I and like it's so delayed on my computer that it's just not even bothering. Or even though it's in the corner, I don't know. Oh, quick question: Am I weird because I have the taskbar on the top of the screen? I don't know. I've always found that to be a personal preference because at the bottom. It's really annoying. It's, it's, it's really even more annoying when people have it on the fucking sides there. Like, I wish I could live in that mindset where having the taskbar vertically along the side of your screen would be a comfortable position. However, I'm just more comfortable with it on top. And I don't know if that works for anyone else. I find it far more useful because, like, most of the shit that happens is at the top of the screen already, you know? So, I don't know. I have Windows 8 and Windows 8's a bit of shit, so... 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the boss. I knew you were special when I first met you, Jack. And I commend you for making it this far. We've come a long way, eh? Yeah, I'm getting real teary-eyed. I love weapons. I love how they look, how they feel, even how they smell. I think you need serious help. My favorite was the impossibly powerful weapon Ma built to blast open the metal head nest. Poor fool died before he could use it. Ah, oh, well. But I have a new favorite, the piercer bomb I've just completed. My masterpiece is powerful enough to crack open the precursor stone and release the untold energy inside. As soon as the Baron shows up with a stone, we'll hide it in the last shipment of Eco and deliver it to the Metalhead Nest. A surprise dessert, eh? <laughs> Just take this gun upgrade and forget what you saw here. Not this Wait. time, crew. I'm through being your hired gun. What? And it's war, isn't it? Oh, God, that <laughs> escalated quickly. He gave us a fucking gun upgrade and such. I don't know. It's, it's funny, though, because... Wow, that guy didn't even get hurt. It's funny, it's just like, we turned so easy on it, it's like, yeah, I'm not working with you, so it's war then, is it? Okay, to the death! Oh god, did you guys ever see that, like, stupidest ninja fight ever? I forgot what it fucking was, it was like a ninja or something, and it's like, to the death. And then they're like, to the death, and it's so funny. But this is such a fucking annoying boss, this is the worst boss in this entire game. On well, the sole fact that these guys take two fucking hits to kill, and you gotta kill at least a hundred of these. I'm not even kidding you, somebody please count. But then, you know, he comes out of fucking nowhere, and he can fly apparently, he's very agile once he's getting shot, but there he goes, so. He's, he's at his second bar of health, and that's typically what happens. And also here, is these guys will fucking juggle the hell out of you. Like, look at this, look at this, I can't even get away, and when you punch, you gravitate towards them. I don't know if you guys realize, the punching in this game is just so, it's so bad. <laughs> like, I don't know, that's why I prefer to kick, but, I don't know, a good, a good strategy I found is to just let them follow behind you and then kill them simultaneously. However, here, we have to take care of a couple waves, god, game. You know, I'm half tempted to use my jack powers soon, I think I might. I might have to do it on the next round though, because these guys, well, I don't know. I don't know, this will have two waves, but they typically come when the enemies have died. See, look at this! Look at this, I already got hit five times by these guys. It's unreal. But I would definitely recommend the scattergun here, because these guys are just little, little twats here. Okay, I'll take care of this asshole, and then only use the dark jack in the next one. Now what, actually, I like doing this, actually, look at this. Okay, so the Vulcan doesn't really do that much damage, but you can send him way the fuck out there, which is just entertaining as hell. Like, look at it, it's like, hey crew, are you sure your, uh, your chair's gonna run out of, uh, juice soon? I mean, who do you think you are, CeeLo? No, or, is that how you, I don't, I don't know, every time I see it, I want to say Chilo because of the CEE, -E, but, I don't know, he's pretty bad aim, too. And he just chills away the hell out there, okay. Let's corral them up, corral. Corral is just such a weird word. Get back! Ah, Jesus Christ, Jojo. You're, you're, you're getting on my nerves, woman. Okay, they're all they're all coming together. Maybe the Peacemaker. The Peacemaker doesn't actually do shit. Look at Look at Did that actually... Yeah, see, look at It didn't even kill any of them. Like, some gun upgrade. Oh, and the gun upgrade. It didn't show up for some reason. But it's, uh, enhanced strength, so... That's weird it didn't show up. I don't know. Nope! Ah, oh, god damn it, game! Uh, don't make me bust out my uh, dog Jack eco powers on you, fool! Uh, wow, that guy was an idiot. They, see, they remind me of slugs, kind of, but they're they're just like little um, little little fucking crews there. All right, let's go take care of this, and hopefully, see, this time the dark Jack worked. The last I I haven't been using it much, but wait, does it actually work against these guys? Uh, come on, <laughs> come on, game! Don't don't. Okay, something happened. Okay, I killed him apparently. It just took him a while to die. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, get back! Uh, Jesus! Oh, God! Okay, one. Okay, I'm just gonna cut back to this if I die, which I'm sure I'm going to. If you guys saw, these guys just fucking slide in there and then kill you. They kill you. It's so funny when people say kill, but they do like ki i i. And, and by that, I'm predominantly meaning like cute girls, and they're like, I'm gonna kill you! Or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just kind of irritating. Actually, okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me crew. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you your majesty But you're gonna die now because you don't belong in this world. Yes, Symphony of the Night quotes Yeah, see he looks a lot smaller 
when we're farther away. Is it too late to give my notice? Yeah, we quit. The city is already dead. I've sold you all out. <laughs> uh, Jack, I think maybe we should be anywhere else just about now. Ashley. We're out of here. That was awesome. Stupid crew. Yeah, you now you did. Father. I'll take the heart of Marta Kira for you. I'm sorry it's come to this. Wait, you're sorry it what? Wait, why are you sorry it's wait, I'm I'm a little confused. Why did you say that? Alright. So we got two uh trophies for doing that. At this point, we now have only six more technically trophies to go. I'm I'm guessing, I'm hoping. <laughs> and one of them, the platinum trophy, is basically for beating the rest of the game. And then another one's collecting all the precursor orbs. And then another one is uh, something random that has to do with 100 percent the game. But otherwise, we've got three more hey story-related achievements and we're good that to machine? go. He looked really nervous. Whatever it is, Crew won't be needing it anymore. He's, shall we say, not all together these days. <laughs> Step aside, Jack. Let the game player do his stuff. You're such an animal. Wow. Nice, uh, breasts. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually a really fun game, surprisingly. I don't know. It, Daxter Control is exceptionally well in this, I think, for a game like this. Because um, when we have to do, like, rapid-fire combos, he does it, like, quick, like, lickety-split. I mean, there is still the delay, but he does it no matter how fast you do it. If you do that, uh, you get stunned for a bit. They're very easy to avoid. But I don't know, I'm feeling kind of... I'm feeling... I'm feeling kind of slow right now. I don't know, I can typically do this really easily, but uh, for the most part, it's not, it's not too bad. We gotta get 1500, and each of the regular ones gives us 10, the gold ones give us uh, 50, and the red ones, I don't know if they actually take off any, but it's whatever, because I don't really care. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is kind of a funny game. And crew did put something, quote unquote, in here, but you guys don't know what that is because we haven't gotten it yet. We'll get it after this, but this is kind of where the game is at its final turning point where they're not really pulling anything wow I'm sucking right now they're not really what no oh man I've never gotten hit by that before in my life <sighs> the, the game isn't really pulling any more fastballs anymore they're just mostly retreading their old hashery and there's not so much to really you know be like oh my god these guys are totally innovating the industry with this one the, the finale is less than spectacular, although the uh, follow-up to this game is, is far superior, so you guys, you guys will see what I mean by that uh, soon. No, not exactly that <laughs> I'm going to be excited not to do this for a little bit. If you guys know what I'm saying, yeah, you guys will Alright, die, 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 Oh, I already won. I was wondering why I didn't do anything. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? You know, Sugar Plum, if any real metalheads came to town, I'd bunk them just like I did in the game. Daxter? They'd be all, don't hurt me, please. And I'd be all, too late, metal monkeys. You die screaming. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Um. Jack, I think these trophies are still working. <laughs> Met metalheads, metalheads, where's Sig when you need them? Sig? I think Crew sent Sig on one last mission. Something about using Mars Ruby Key to open a secret door in the Underport. Of course. Come on, Dax. We need to get to the Underport right now. I'll take the time map to Kira. Be careful, Angel Cheeks. And your hero will return shortly. What? Oh, man. That was that was a weird concoction of uh, emotions I should have felt there. But wait a second. What? Oh, no! Metalheads are at the door! They're breaking through! Wait. Too many of them! Jack! Ah! Wait, did I just... Did I just hear Sorry. your white ass right? Oh, hey, check it out. There's Metalheads. So, Vin has informed us that Core, that old asshole that's been telling us to do a bunch of bullshit for all their asshole, for all of us, to basically make a path of our missions, that old guy who was watching the kid, he opened the gates to the Metalheads. Who would have thought that an old, conniving, very sleazy asshole like Kor would do something like that? I mean, think of it. His name is Kor. 
God damn it. I mean, he's that just seems more formidable than something like the Ah, uh, the Titan suit. I don't care who you are. We're ready to meet you. Tomorrow at dawn at the reservoir. To the death. To the death. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.